Happy Monday, guys. I'm in Zaya's room again, and I'm trying to figure out a way to mount this piece onto this piece to start the whole process of her little vanity setup that I'm making because I can't I can't see myself spending like the 400 500 dollars on the rattan um, ones for kids right now so I thought this would be the best option for us to get like the same look and then it's a little smaller because her room is on the smaller side so I'm trying to figure out how to mount this on here safely and not ruin it at the same time and I want it to go right there so both of these pieces are from Target this is from the Target dollar spot I think it was five five dollars my mom picked that up for her a while back and I realized that I had that and I thought it would go perfect with this little rattan setup kind of like the same vibes it's like a terracotta to me these are like rainbows that's why I like them um, but yeah, so at first I thought maybe I would take these two pieces apart, um, like separate these two pieces that are glued and then sandwich it. So this one on the front and then this part on the back and somehow, um, glue it or screw it in, but there's no way for me to screw this piece because I don't want to crack it. So, I'm just brainstorming a little bit. I'm probably going to end up gluing it to, um, like, off-centered, like that. I don't know. I really want it centered, though, like this. But it's more stable on these larger pieces. <sighs> I'll kind of show the process, if I can, on how I do it. So I got it to stick. <laughs> um, that's nothing what I thought I would do. <laughs> but <laughs> it's really sturdy. <laughs> I definitely duct tape that thing down. And I'm thinking I'm going to cut like a cardboard piece or something and stick it here on the back. I mean, it's on the back. You're not gonna see it, but <laughs> it's holding, man. It's really, it's on there really sturdy. Like, duct tape, duct tape's crazy. So anyways, <laughs> there's my little, you can kind of see it on the top right there, which is a little annoying, but <laughs> from this view, you can't tell. So yeah, how cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put her little makeup stuff back and show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> that is so cute. I wonder if she's gonna notice that there's a like little mirror on there. And hopefully when she sits down, it's like the perfect size for her because that's a lot of duct tape to take off. Oh, I love it. I just found these at Dollar Tree and I thought they'd be cool little um, inexpensive set bags for your clients if you're on set. That way if it gets messed up, it's really inexpensive and it opens a little bit. Let me see. Here's a few things I stuffed in there to show you like size. Really cool. Or like these can be like different talent set bags. I found this super cute frame. It's like um it's like shell or stone. I think it's like stone. It's $15 and I just can't justify paying $15 for this little frame. <laughs> Unless it was like handmade or something, you know? But it's so cute. If you're looking for something like this, I bought a round one that I showed earlier in my haul. <sighs> I wonder if this is $8 too. 
this one. If it's $8, I'll get this one. Oh, so cute. This is a piece that I've been wanting for so long. It's on like clearance because it's a store display. Oh, look at these. These are so good. $10. A little goodie jar. I love that. And then this pot. So cute. Oh. I've been wanting this for outside in my patio. But I'm waiting for it to go on sale still. Oh, and by the way, this frame was $8. So I'm getting it. I really love these. But really pretty if you want something neutral for a vase. And they're heavy. Maybe one day. Today I'm in my makeup studio and I'm just refilling some of my items that I seen um, are running low. This is a rose water that I use from Mario Badescu. It's just a refreshing, it's a refreshing like aromatherapy basically. Um, I like to use this when I'm really hot outside and I spritz a little bit over my face. It doesn't really do anything to my makeup pretty much. So I just use this before I put makeup on. It's a nice little added touch. And then here's some alcohol that I'm gonna refill. Um, the alcohol that I use in my kit. I have like five or six little random containers of alcohol that I would keep in different um, kits that I have. So I'm just using what I have instead of pouring it from my big jug. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. I love this. I use this on myself as well. Here's the container, it's empty. And then this is, um, I either use the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water or Bioderma. So I'm going to finish off the, bi um, not the Bioderma, the Garnier one. And then this is my Embrylis, um Cream. I'm like halfway done with that. And then I'm going to add in some mascara spoolies and lip, um, lip brushes, the disposable ones. And then top off my uh, cotton rounds as well because I'm running low on that. And then my hand sanitizer looks good. Let's see what I might need. My little, so I keep sponges in here. These are one of my favorite little sponges for under the eyes. Um, I think they're from Friends Beauty or Camera Ready Cosmetics. I just refilled my Kleenex, and I'm, here's my gum, I have to refill my flosses, my Hydromat, I don't know if I have any more of that, this one though, what was in here, oh face wash, I don't have any more of that one, I'm using that one up, no, I don't need any more sponges, I mean cotton rounds, hand sanitizer, and anything here? No, I don't think. Anything here, really? Oh, and I keep some disposable sponges in there. I have one left. I don't have any more of this one, so I think I'm just gonna refill it with the ones that I use from the Dollar Tree. Everything is pretty much topped off. These go filled up. I'm gonna close this up. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay. I got that filled up. Keep that here. Got these filled up. The embrace. So I'm going to wipe down the rest of my makeup that I was doing, um, wiping down over here, wiping everything down with an alcohol wipe and I'm going to put them away. The only thing I didn't refill yet is my floss because I have to go upstairs and get some.
Hi. Can I please have two each of the macarons? Yeah, of course. Yes, please. So here's the olipops. I was calling them lollipops. And I've been wanting to try them because I've seen <laughs> I've seen somebody that I watch on YouTube. She and her husband were trying them. I really wanted root beer, but it looks like root beer's gone. So got two vintage sodas and then one of each of the ones that they have left. These are my other favorite like um, healthy soda drinks. They're real cane sugar and it's the Hansons. I like the grape and the root beer flavor. My house is a wreck. You know how people say, My house is a mess and I have to clean it up. And then it has like pillows out of like place. No, it's not like I got Cheerios over there. Ella dishes. <laughs> Crying baby. Oh, yeah. It's just, just a mess. Oh, 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 oh. What's the matter? I don't know. Here. So, I'm about to clean it up and watch the Smallfoot movie because we've never seen it. And I always listen to the soundtrack on um, YouTube when we are taking my, getting my daughter ready, like out of the bath. Today. You get shave ice. It's called water and salt. You guys like it? Thank you. Can I have one more spoon? Thank you. Gotta get you all over the place. looking a little crusty and crazy but this is what my makeup looks like after how many hours of wear so I think I did my makeup at 2 it is almost 11 so like 9 hours not too bad I really like the Charlotte Tilbury powder it kept me matte I didn't touch up at all it kept me pretty matte except for my nose because I didn't add a lot on there and then the shadows are amazing still for not adding any primer. I didn't prime my eyes at all. I just put a little bit of um, tinted moisturizer like um, to carve out my brows. And then my brows are pretty good too from the soap brow that I used. My lips, I had shave ice and ate dinner and snacks and drink from a can. So good my hair looks so crazy I'm still not using any um, heat on my hair so I just usually brush it out and then put like a little bit of mousse or hairspray on it and that usually does me good and I'm getting my hair done in about two weeks because that's um, the earliest available weekend day that my hairstylist is available so I'm going to get all these whites taken care of and then I'm going to, my hair grew out a ton since I got my hair done. It used to be like super blonde up here. You can see a few streaks back here and I can't wait to get my hair done. Um, yeah, so 
Fish case tomorrow. Got some goodies for Mother's Day from my cousins, Zaya's godmom and grand godmom. Sent me a little edible arrangement and then cookies. I didn't show it yesterday. This is when I got it. Um, it was yesterday and then I put it in the fridge. So sweet. We're going to Ross and then hopefully Home Goods. I'm in my garage. These cute tall planters. Here's the pot selection from Walmart. And I love this one. I bought this size and then a smaller one for inside my house. Oh, this one right here. I think I'm gonna buy one more this size. gonna get these for the yard and then we're gonna put in the bite fighter mosquito repellent fuel then I found these so cute I'm gonna get a couple for our patio so our cart's a little crazy Here's my super cute book I got for Mother's Day. <laughs> and Zion screaming in the back. Crazy boy. It's our angel. Here's a card Zion made me. Hey, hey, good girl. Woohoo! Oh, her got strawberry. Wow. 